Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's now been 11 days since Nicola Bully, a 45-year-old mother of two, went missing here in St Michael's in Lancashire. It remains and always has been our priority to find Nicola as soon as possible and to bring her back to her family. We've received literally thousands of pieces of information from the public, the wider community, Nicola's family and friends, which we've been combing through diligently. This means at the moment there are around 500 active pieces of information and lines of inquiry that we're working on to try and find answers for Nicola's family. We have a team of 40 or so detectives under a senior investigating officer working daily to comb through this enormous amount of information. This is normal in a missing person inquiry and does not indicate that there is any suspicious element to this story. The inquiry team remains fully open-minded to any information that may indicate where Nicola is or what happened to her. Some of the, the specific pieces of information and the lines of inquiry that they've been undertaking include house to house in the village, looking at CCTV, the various pieces of dash cam that have been submitted to the inquiry, identifying and tracing and speaking to key witnesses, a number of whom have come into the inquiry and been spoken to and given valuable information. Digital and telephony, this includes Nicola's Fitbit and her mobile phone, which has been uh, fully examined. And we've now identified around 700 vehicles that drove through the village on that morning, on the 27th of January at around 9.10, 9.15. And we're in the process of speaking to all of those drivers to try and find out if they have any dash cam footage, what they saw on that day, or anything else that may be of value to the police inquiry. We have already discounted particular areas of the river, but as they are tidal, we have researched them to ensure that nothing has been washed back into those search areas.